Well, hello, and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about lying. Is it ever okay to lie according to the scriptures? What about those little white lies? You know, it doesn't seem like it hurts everybody or anybody, but they're just not quite the full truth. Or what about, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer says, you can lie to the enemies of the gospel because we don't have a contract with them. You know, so somebody asked, where's the believers? And if you told the truth, they would be killed. Do you force to tell the truth? What does the Bible say about lying? So as usual, let's learn about lying, what the Bible says together. So here's some verses about lying. First Kings 22, 16. The king said to him, how many times do I have to adjure you that you speak to me nothing but the truth in Yahweh's name? Colossians 3, 9 to 10. Don't lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his doings and have put on the new man who is being renewed in knowledge after the image of his creator. Deuteronomy 19, 16 to 19. If an unrighteous witness rises up against any man to testify against him of wrongdoing, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges who shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness is a false witness, and he testified falsely against his brother, then you shall do to him as he had thought to do to his brother. So you shall remove the evil from among you. Exodus 23, 1. You shall not spread a false report. Don't join your hand with the wicked, to be a malicious witness. James 3.14 But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, don't boast and don't lie against the truth. John 8.44 You are of your father, the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and doesn't stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks on his own, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Leviticus 19.12 You shall not swear by my name falsely and profane the name of your God. I am Yahweh. Proverbs 12, 19, true slips will be established forever, but a lying tongue is only momentary. Proverbs 14, 5, a truthful witness will not lie, but a false witness pours out lies. Proverbs 19, 5, a false witness shall not be unpunished. He who pours out lies shall not go free. Proverbs 19, 19. A false witness shall not be unpunished. He who utter lies shall perish. Proverbs 24, 28. Don't be a witness against your neighbor without cause. Don't deceive with your lips. Proverbs 25, 18. A man who gives false testimony against his neighbor is like a club, a sword, or a sharp arrow. Psalm 58, 3. The wicked go astray from the womb. They are wayward as soon as they are born, speaking lies. 
Revelation 21, 8. But for the cowardly, unbelieving, sinners, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars. Their part is in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. May God add blessing to the reading of his word. So our new modern expression for the day. This is the expression, fall by the wayside. And this is to stop doing something or using something because you want to focus on other things or you're just bored with it. So my New Year's resolution fell by the wayside by February. And this comes from Matthew 13, 4. As he sowed, some seeds fell by the roadside and the birds came and devoured them. Fall by the wayside. 